He's the lawyer for the Batman shooter who drugged him all up and that's what they want to do to me. Holmes was an anti-psychotic, was on anti-psychotic medication during his trial. I blame that too. This year in the 2012 shootings mm -hmm. that killed 12 people and wounded 70. He was sentenced to life in prison. Colorado Springs police have refused to discuss a potential motive in the November 27 attack, which wounded nine, but even before Wednesday's startling outburst, there was mounting evidence that Deer was deeply concerned about abortion. He rambled to authorities about no more baby parts after his arrest. And a law enforcement official said this week that Deer asked at least one person in a nearby shopping center for directions to the clinic before opening fire. On Wednesday, Deer interjected as Judge Gilbert A. Martinez discussed a pretrial publicity order, saying, Could you add the babies that were supposed to be aborted that day? Could you add that to this list? They're not babies. At one point, Deer yelled simply, Protect the babies! Later, he accused his attorneys of being in cahoots with Planned Parenthood to shut me up. I have a very, uh, very old-fashioned uh, approach to justice. I let, I let all the family members just gang up on him and torture him and just beat them, beat, beat him to death. But that's only me. I want the truth to come out. There's a lot more to this than for me to go silently to the grave, he shouted. One of his ex-three wives, but they look ex three like, wives. Do they look like Kim Davis? They must look like hell because if he looks like who the hell is going to marry this idiot? Three different women. Yeah, but look at those all those uh, pretty uh, blonde bombshells that married the Duck Dynasty uh, brothers. <laughs> <laughs> look at them and look at the the the, the, the dudes, you know, the the, the husbands. <laughs> One of his three wives, ex-wives. Barbara Mesher Michaud of Monk's Corner, South Carolina. Oh, gee, I can imagine. Said he vandalized a South Carolina abortion clinic at least 20 years ago, announcing to her that he had put glue in the locks of its doors. A common protest technique among actives, activists trying to shut down the abortion clinic. So it can't be opened up because they can't get their key in the lock. <laughs> he did. He must have done this uh, after the place was closed. He must have... Uh, well, that, yeah, well, that would only be the front door then. Yeah, I mean, I mean... Maybe he snuck around with a... Uh, what's that glue... Uh, uh, crazy gorilla glue, glue yeah. crazy, the, crazy what, glue. Were there cameras, I wonder? Security. 20 years ago, no. No, no. No. Now you have cameras everywhere. Yes, we which do. Is, which is, which, you know what? In this day and age, can be a very good thing. Very good thing. Some people are against it. But, you know, I mean, if you're, if your loved one is a victim of a crime, or you're a victim of a crime, it... It's sure reassuring to know that there are hidden cameras where law enforcement can just zoom in on the perpetrator. Yeah, well, the red light cameras ain't working too well. The 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 traffic cameras? Well, they worked well when they when they took a a, a, a photo of my uh, license plate uh -huh. when I was in Jersey City, and uh, I um, did you do something wrong? 
I no, I, I well, I, there was a uh, a left hand signal. Uh huh. There was a left hand signal, and um, I um, I wasn't fast enough to uh, to beat the red arrow. It was like like a like by a second. By a second, I missed beating it, and and uh, I, and the flash went off. Ooh. And a person that was in the car says, "Hey, I, they took a picture. I, I, I just saw a flash. I hope you didn't get. I hope they didn't take a photo of your uh, your license they plate. Did. And it happened. I got it in the mail. I was hoping not, but I got it in the mail. But uh, you know, um, cameras should be placed." Uh, in many different ways, you know, to, to especially uh, banks should have them all over, you know, to catch the getaway car. Uh, yeah, well, they uh, do. And all they that. Have them on the streets too. You know, so uh, departments. Which stores. are helping kept, catch or capture some <coughs> rapists and muggers and yeah, things of that nature. You know, like uh, 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 outside. They can be good. Outside to have them, like at least two of them, where. They're going downward. Where if there's a, there's always a getaway car outside waiting. Like let's say somebody's doing a jewelry heist, you know, and find jewelry, and then the getaway car, the guy's in the car with the motor running and everything, and you know, you you get the the plate number and everything, and so on and so forth. Anyway, residents, especially senior citizens, should be aware that if they find a pop up on their computer screen that allegedly cannot be deleted unless you call a certain number uh -oh. don't do it uh -oh. it's a scam that you can't get rid of it it doesn't it doesn't have an X in the corner to to remove it huh? some of these scammers will show you false spyware on your computer I have I have a uh, Adaware uh, uh, a freebie from Mozilla Firefox. I think it's called Adaware something. Anyway, it blocks all pop-ups perfectly. Then they will charge you $299 for temporary removal or 499 for lifetime removal. They then take your credit card info, take your money and move on to the next victim. Residents should call the Federal Trade Commission, which handles consumer fraud. <clears throat> they need your help to track down these scammers. And to get rid of this pop-up, just close down your computer completely and start it up again. Sometimes that's what you have to do. Hey, uh, uh uh, banks, banks do it. PayPal, not, not not the banks. I'm sorry. Scammers use a phony facsimile of the home page of a popular bank or PayPal phony PayPal page, and what they do is they ask people for their personal information again, making believe that they lost it. Mm. No, they didn't lose it. Once you submit your personal info with PayPal, who I think believe owns eBay, you know they're all together. <laughs> once you give them, once you have your personal info with them and the bank, it doesn't go anywhere. They don't ask you twice. You know, so mm -hmm. it should be a big red flag. One of only four. Northern white rhinos believe left in the world died Sunday at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. I think the black rhino is extinct now too. Nola, a 41-year-old female who has been at the park since 1989, was euthanized after her health took a turn for the worse. The geriatric rhino had arthritis and other ailments and was being treated for a bacterial infection linked to an abscess in her hip. 
You know why animals become extinct, don't you? Human greed. Nola had surgery on November 13th to drain the abscess, but her health began to deteriorate about a week ago. Her appetite faltered and she became listless. She worsened over the past 24 hours and vets decided they had to euthanize her. Nola was an iconic animal, not only at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park, but worldwide. The remaining three northern white rhinos, all elderly, are in a closely guarded preserve in Kenya. The subspecies has been decimated by poachers. See? Who kill the rhinos for their horns. I wonder if it's possible to clone uh, using good DNA from the uh, from an extinct animal's carcass <clears throat> to try to retrieve good DNA and to clone them back into existence. That, I think that would be a wonderful thing. The horns are in high demand in the parts of Asia where some people claim they have medicinal properties for treating everything from hangovers to cancer. Yeah, I heard deer antler, uh, powdered deer antler uh, is used um, also, but deer, deer shed their antlers anyway, the male, the bucks, so, you know. In an effort to preserve the species, the San Diego Zoo took possession of this month's, this month, of six female southern white rhinos from South America. Zoo researchers working, are working on developing northern white rhino embryos to be implanted in the six new arrivals who will serve as surrogate mothers. Researchers have said they hope a northern white rhino calf could be born from a San Diego surrogate mommy within 10 to 15 years. It's very sad, you know. Um, I just want to warn people out there uh, being that this is the holiday season, um, don't buy gift cards at all, period. I know it's convenient to give someone uh, a holiday gift uh, in the form of a gift card, but uh, guess what? If you read the fine print, you will see that uh, the gift card has an expiration date. Bingo. So you're buying. So what happens is the company that issues the gift card, they're confiscating that money that you put up. They're stealing that money that you put up because once the, the once a gift card expires, it's almost like just handing the money over to a company and getting nothing in return. When you think about it, and 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 it's really not fair because you're buying a gift card hoping that that gift card will have the value of what you paid for it. It is a gift. So you give the card to someone, you give it to someone and you say whatever your holiday is, you know, here's your gift. And you assume that that gift card will be worth that amount as long as the company is in existence. But oh no, no, oh, no, it has an expiration date company takes the money, confiscates it, and guess what? You, you try to, um, I guess if you contact Department of Consumer Affairs, Better Business Bureau, nobody will help you because of the, the little contract uh, fine print, right? Caveat emptor. It's, yeah, the gift card, a coupon expires. But not a gift card. So, all retail companies that have such gift cards, 
I always said the retail industry in the United States is underhanded and sleazy as all hell and I still say it Chisler's Hall of Shame shame on you for stealing people with a with the gift card scam all right it's disappointing but not surprising to hear oh, that the private company running the New Jersey state lottery system oh boy is still not meeting its initial projections privatization rears its ugly head again with more than a decade remaining on the 15-year contract, pushed through by the Christie administration, yeah. Democrats are right to question whether the first two years of a privatized lottery system are benefiting the state. At this revenue is used for social service programs, we can only hope it improves. Yes, yeah, supposedly used for that. But the trail of political influence surrounding the contract makes the situation even more disheartening. It surfaced earlier this week that operator North Star New Jersey did not meet its projections for the second straight year coming up about $132 million short over that period. In the most recent fiscal year, which ended last June, the lottery brought in $960 million. But the original contract projected $1 billion, $37. I think there's some political political force that's skimming off the top of this? That 960 million was 30 million higher than a revised projection, but more than half of that money came from the penalty the company must pay. And the last of a credit built into its contract. Putting government operations in private hands can be good if it brings increased efficiency and revenue. But in this case, the state's lottery was doing very well before the change was made. Can be good, but never is. Eventually, privatization is a failure. Three companies combined to create North Star in 2013. And it was the only bidder for the contract. One of those companies spent about $460,000 on lobbying firm founded by David Sampson, the former Port Authority chairman, who also served as counsel for Governor Christie's election campaign. <laughs> Can we all say conflict of interest? Conflict of interest. So mm -hmm. is it fair? to also say that the company North Star should be inducted into the Chisler's Hall of Shame. A public relations group led by a current senior advisor to Christie's presidential campaign also received money. These relationships make it hard to believe that privatizing the ball lottery was necessary or worthwhile at the time. Underwhelming revenue continues to make this seem like a terrible idea. Hey, when the Republican uh, Christy Whitman uh, tried to privatize the division of motor vehicle, that was a big mistake. You saw how fast they got away from that. Carol Heidegger, Executive Director of the State Lottery Commission, spoke at a Senate Legislative Oversight Committee hearing on Tuesday. She cited positives like technology upgrades, increased marketing that she said would pay off in the long term, ticket sales have draw topped three billion dollars. 
for the first time. But a drop in how often people play the more profitable national games like Mega Millions and Powerball is part of why the members aren't the numbers aren't adding up. A change in lottery spending by consumers is a legitimate issue. But it's hard to justify why this company was hired and whether it should remain in control of the state's fortunes. Illinois hmm. ended its own contract with North Star after its projections missed by nearly five hundred million dollars. You okay? Yeah, I'm going I have to find my place. Oh. North Star oh. <laughs> theoretically could be financially penalized for missing revenue targets in New Jersey. Its contract also could be terminated if its revenue shortfall exceeds 10% of net income targets for two straight years, a threshold that has not yet been met. Hmm. North Star was brought in as a supposed expert that would maximize the state's lottery system, but so far, that is just not happening. Well, uh, I don't want to say I told you so about privatization, but uh, I told you so. It's trap. Any, any, any uh, light, light. Uh, I can't reading? find one out there. I can't find one right up there. Okay, no big deal. Uh, sometimes, you know, it. we have it, sometimes we don't. It's not on the top here, that's for sure. Uh, you know what I mean? No. No, nah, all right, no problem. Not in here. No problem, just uh, save it for next time. Yes, yes we will. We will save it for next time. Okay. Hail Krampus. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for this week's Progressive Discussion. Uh, enjoy, <coughs> enjoy this uh, unnatural, ultra, ultra mild uh, autumn and winter. Well, excuse me. Well, it's not winter. Beautiful weather. It's not quite winter yet. It's beautiful. Winter will be December twenty-first. I think next week. Yeah. The yeah. The, or the week after. Yeah, but uh, super mild autumn. Thanks to global warming, which Repu El Nino. Republicans still El Nino. El Nino and the jet stream. It's not like Benny and the jets, is it? The jet stream has all the cold air out in the Midwest. Oh, they're getting snow. Oh, they are. Really? That's where the bad weather is. Well, they get a lot of snow. We have a but Bermuda the, High but, in but, operation. But the but the Those you, you don't usually happen except in the summertime. Bermuda highs. Bermuda highs. Yeah. Chicago gets nasty winters. But you know what? The states that get really heavy snowfall out west and in, and in the Midwest, it's a dry cold. And, and the... Uh, it's cold! <laughs> And Try Fargo, <laughs> North Dakota, it's and joke. it's cold. But but there the towns have their snow removal down to a science. Did you see that on uh, Facebook that uh, snow removal thing where the 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 the, the, the machine the, the the streets are clear. Yeah, streets are clear. But this they, this they, truck this the machine goes by. It's taken up all the snow up to the curb. And there's a dump truck next to it, and it's dumping all the snow into the dump truck. No snow is left on the road. Almost simultaneously? When they're done. Is, is it like a like a giant snow blower that blows it it's into the dump? It's not a blower. It's a sucker. It sucks it up. It sucks it all up, and, and it shoots and it, it into the truck, the, the back of the truck. Dump, uh, simultaneously? 
simultaneously. The truck is right running right alongside. Really, me. no shit. You'll never see that here in this yeah. part of the country. They 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 bury your cars. They plow right down the middle, and the snow goes exactly. to the sides, exactly. and they bury you. They bury you in, and then you have to dig your car out. They're idiots. They're numbskulls. DPW, you know. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Next week. Next week it'll it'll be officially uh, winter, and we'll see uh, what kind of weather we have. Mm. You told me it's supposed to be mild this coming week. Only for the next week. Well, then we, the jet stream is changing. Well, we've been having mild weather, so another week is welcome. Another like four or five days. Then it'll be like fifty. 50 and then nah. they go down to 49 and stuff. I don't I don't care about that. I, I just yeah. care about nor'easters, blizzards, you know. Uh, uh, things that create uh, unneeded, unwanted work for me, uh, which means dig my car out, shovel the walkways, um, uh, uh, chip ice off my windshield, things that I hate doing. No. That's all I care about. I don't care about a cold winter. I care about the snow and the ice and of course black ice is very dangerous as you people well know we'll, we'll see you next time hail Krampus happy Festivus for the rest of us and happy winter solstice Yule you're no fool for liking Yule and uh, by the way Christ was never in Christmas, so forget about it.